you know, you haven't you, you haven't made a single joke throughout this entire part. Right? Well, you're asking me serious I'm questions. Kind of, I'm kind of disappointed. You know, I have to say. I don't do jokes. Hello. Hello. Are you ready to see your dream car? Wait, did you find the color that we were talking about? Yes, I did. I mean, it's, no it's way. close enough. Close enough. This is crazy. I, you know what? I don't what? believe you. Okay, you know what? You better come out right now and check it out. It, it's a crazy car. A bit difficult to get into, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, it's like I, I didn't plan it. You better pull in Ellen and give me the car at the end of this. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> So you, you've opened for, you know, big acts, Yeah. right? Maz Jobrani, you know, SNL's Dean Edwards. Has it been a struggle to get to where you are? I struggled to get up in the morning to go to work when, when I didn't do comedy, when I had a job. That was a struggle for me. And what did you do before comedy? I would do, it sounds nicer than it is, just, a, just, okay. just like a disclaimer. Okay. I used to do events. But like okay. exhibitions and conferences events. It was like right. very serious. It was all very number centric and how much space do we have? How much space can we sell? How did you know you wanted to be a comedian? I did it because this is 2008. Okay, this is yeah. 2008 and I was very ignorant like most of us To the idea that there's gonna be a financial recession, right? So I you thought know, this was going to be a funny interview and now we're talking about the recession. Like it's, it's just... We are not asking funny <laughs> questions. You're like, so how did you know you're going to be a comedian? Well, I woke up and then I was Tell like juggling. Anyway, so you went to see the president of the family run company. Yes, and he, he was trying to tell me that this is not the right time to do it. And I, I thought he was just trying to convince me to do it. Because I, I went through a lot of these uh, trying to leave the company. Yeah. And, you know, he was talking to me very much like a father trying to tell me listen this is not the time uh trust me I, I run this huge company and i have for many years yeah you gotta chill you know at the end he said okay it looks like i can't convince you but then a couple of weeks later when i left the company i get a phone call from them saying so were you serious about this comedy thing i'm like uh yeah <laughs> yeah I was. kind of mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they said well we have this event um and it's a it's a gala event for for dentists from, from around the world and that was my first gig it was 800 dentists wow from, were they um, hard to was it hard to make them laugh dentists? it was hard because I had never done anything before so I had right. to go back to where I used to work uh, in, a, in a conference room with my with my old boss and tell him uh, jokes that was awkward but getting up on stage I was very nervous and I didn't hear anybody laugh Oh my gosh, what did you do? When, how, how did that feel? Like everything about two inches away from me almost didn't exist. Yeah. So at the end of it, my brother who also worked for the company, he came up to me and you know, he said, hey, great job. And I was like, this is, my brother's very honest. He's not mean, he's just honest. He's yeah. always gonna tell you what, what he's thinking. Yeah. And I'm like, why are you, why are you being nice today? You know what's going on and he um he said no people are laughing what are you talking about so okay so i've prepared 10 quick fire questions for you which i hope you will appreciate because oh, i spent quite a lot of time with them i suck at these i just want so, you to know i'm so bad at them ready yeah we're at a stoplight so no excuses okay okay favorite comedian chris rock least favorite comedian me <laughs> really dream performance it doesn't make sense. Dream performance. I mean, uh, would you like to perform the Dubai Opera? Would you like to perform? I did. You did perform in the Dubai Opera. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that was just an example. All right. Best stand-up comedy show you've ever seen. I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Oh, again, it depends on the year. <laughs> Best 2019. You, I'll give you two. You're so bad at this. By no, the way. no, I'm horrible <laughs> at this. 2019. I'll give you two. Uh, okay. Sticks and Stones. Dave Chappelle and Michelle Wolf. Did. I think it's called the joke show. Dave Dave Chappelle is just absolutely unbelievable. unbelievable. But Michelle Wolf, you know, is way up there. Last year she killed it. Best cup of karak kar tea you've ever had. Is it is it the the Ijaza cafeteria on Jumeirah Road? No, is it's it, horrible. Is it horrible? I That's love not it. Karak. 
That's is it Lipton. Not? No, Karak is cooked. Is it really? Yeah. Is if it, it Lipton? It, if there's a tea bag, it's not Karak. You're kidding. Favorite local dish? Uh, I love Jashid. Oud or regular perfume? Oud. No perfume. Best car you've ever driven? Ever driven? I want to say this one, but it's not. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Nissan Patrol or G Class? G class. Wrong answer, Jeep Wrangler. I think we are running out of time, Ali, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank Thanks you. for making the time.